Hi there once again. Welcome to our video about scientific notation and entering it into the calculator. What we're going to show you how to do is to handle a tricky looking scientific notation problem and place it in the calculator correctly. Our problem today is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th power times 3 times 10 to the 8th power all of this divided by 300 times 10 to the negative 9th power. This seems like it would be fairly difficult to enter into the calculator correctly, but most TI calculators do have a function that allows you to enter scientific notation more easily. On the TI-30X2S, which is the calculator we're going to start with, it's located here. This key says X-1, but you might notice above it, it says uppercase E. What the uppercase E does is it replaces times 10 and the exponent sign when you enter the scientific notation. So that if you have 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th power, what you'll enter instead in the calculator is 6.63 uppercase E negative 34. There's no need to say times, no need to say 10, and no need to place the exponent operator. We'll start off by showing you how to enter this expression into the TI-30X2S. Now, in the TI-30X2S, we'll have to place parentheses around the numerator and parentheses around the denominator. I've outlined those in blue. Those may not be given in the problem, but for this particular calculator, we'll need to enter it because it's not so great at handling fractions. We'll start by placing the left parentheses and say 6.63. Now, next would be times, but we're not going to have to enter that times. Instead, we can place the uppercase E. So we'll say second uppercase E, that's on this x negative 1 button, remember to press second first, and we'll say negative, which is this little negative in the parentheses, 34. Now we move on to the next number, so we'll say times, using the times key, 3 times 10 to the 8th, but of course, we're not going to enter times because this is scientific notation, instead we'll use uppercase E. So we'll say second, uppercase E, we don't have to say 10, we can just say 8. Now the numerator's already taken care of. Now we close the parentheses. We'll do our division by pressing the division key, open a new set of parentheses for the denominator. Now we handle the 300 times 10 to the negative 9. 300, and instead of saying times, since we're about to do scientific notation, we say again, second, uppercase E, negative 9. Close the parentheses and press enter. Notice that the TI-30X2S is going to give us 6.63 and then you'll have a little tiny times 10, negative 19. So our answer will be 6.63 times 10 raised to the negative 19. Now I'm going to show you how to solve this problem using the TI-30XS calculator. Now, when you're handling complicated fractions in the TI-30XS, we can begin by pressing this button that says N over D to place the division bar in the problem. Now, when we enter the scientific notation, you might notice this calculator does not have an uppercase E on it. However, what it does have is this button saying times 10 raised to the n. This will automatically place the time sign, the 10, and the exponent marker. So let's try entering this now, beginning with the numerator. 6.63, place the times 10 raised to the n button. This inserts the times, the 10, and gives us a little dotted box right above the 10. That's where the exponent goes. It's a little bit hard to see, but it is a little bit higher than the 10. Inside the exponent, we place negative 34. Now, to continue entering our math in the numerator, we place a right arrow at this point. That's this right side of the oval. That takes us out of the exponent and allows us to continue entering. 
make sure you remember to press that button or else you'll accidentally continue entering exponents over and over again. Now we'll say times 3 and then times 10 raised to the n. That's inserting the scientific notation for us. And then 8. Now press the right arrow to escape the exponent and press down arrow, that's the lower part of this oval, to go to the denominator. Now we can enter 300 times 10 raised to the n to place the scientific notation in automatically, negative 9. And now we press enter. Our answer is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 19. Now, I'll demonstrate how to solve this problem using the TI-36X Pro. This is probably the easiest calculator to use for this problem, because you can begin by pressing this button, which has a box and then a division bar and another box. This will allow you to separate the numerator from the denominator so that we don't need these blue parentheses that I've drawn. Also, notice the uppercase E key is fairly easy to get to. It's right here underneath this blue word that says vector. Now, notice it's right next to lowercase e. You need to be careful. You don't want to press lowercase e. Use only the uppercase e in this instance. Now, we'll enter 6.63. Instead of saying times, we'll say uppercase e and say negative 34. Now we continue on to our next number. We say times, and then 3 times 10 to the 8th power. Instead of saying times in this position, we say uppercase E and 8. Now press down on the oval to move to the denominator. In the denominator, we have 300 times 10 to the negative 9. We'll say 300. Now instead of saying times, once again, we use the uppercase E, and we'll say negative 9. Now press Enter. And we get 6.63 E negative 19. But the E still stands for times 10 raised to whatever comes next. It's not too uncommon to see people write uppercase E on any sort of homework or problems in WebAssign. WebAssign will know what to do if you say E. Your instructor will also know exactly what you mean if you write uppercase E instead of times 10. Now I'll show you how to solve this problem using the TI-83+. Now recall the TI-83 plus is not the best for handling fractions, so we are going to have to separate the numerator from the denominator using these little blue parentheses I've placed in here. These will not always be given to you, but I've drawn them in to help you separate them. Now we'll enter open parentheses to show the numerator is starting, and then 6.63. Now, where we see the times, we don't say times anymore, because we're going to enter uppercase E in that position as well. Now be careful on the TI-83, it's not that easy to find. It's right here where the comma is. Above it in the yellow text we have uppercase E. So we'll say second, it's in the upper left corner, uppercase E, negative 34. We don't have to say exponent and we don't have to say times 10. We can just continue to the next number. We'll say times 3, and then instead of putting the scientific notation, we say second, uppercase E, 8. No need to say 10. No need to use the exponent. Now close the parentheses to show that the numerator has ended. And place a division sign to show the denominator comes next. Now we open the parentheses and we say 300 times 10 to the negative 9. So we'll say second uppercase E rather than times, negative 9. Now close the parentheses and press enter 
And our answer is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 19. Notice they place an uppercase E in the middle. That just means times 10 raised to whatever comes next. It's okay to write this in WebAssign or on any exam. Your instructor will know what to do. Now I'm going to show you how to solve this problem using the TI-84. Now remember the TI-84 is not great at handling fractions, so we're going to have to separate the numerator from the denominator with these extra blue parentheses that I've written in. The numerator, again, has its own parentheses. The denominator has its own parentheses. So we'll begin by saying open parentheses 6.63. Now, we have times 10 raised to the negative 34, that's scientific notation. So in the position we usually would have said times, we'll say uppercase E. Now the uppercase E is right here on this key that has the comma. So to reach it, we say second, the blue button, uppercase E. Now we just say negative 34, no need to say 10, no need to say times, no need to put an exponent marker, this is good enough. Now we'll move on to the next part, so times 3, and then we have times 10 raised to the 8th, so once again we'll use the uppercase E to represent that. Second, uppercase E, 8. Close the parentheses using the right parentheses, then a division sign to say the denominator is coming next. Now open the parentheses again to begin the denominator, and we'll have 300 times 10 to the negative ninth, that's scientific notation, so we can say uppercase E. Negative 9. Now, close the parentheses. That's all we need to do. Press enter, and we get 6.63 E negative 19. Once again, the uppercase E is the same thing as saying times 10 raised to whatever comes next. You're okay to enter that answer in WebAssign or put it on an exam. Your instructor will know exactly what you mean if you say uppercase E. For those of you using the TI-89, once again, the TI-89 does not have a very convenient way to enter fractions. However, what it does have is this double E key here and that capital E means that you can replace any occurrences of times 10 raised to some number with that uppercase E. So that 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 is 6.63 E negative 34. No need to say times, no need to place an exponent. However, because this is the TI-89 and we don't have an easy way to enter the fractions, we begin with parentheses because the entire numerator needs to have its own parentheses. So we'll enter 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34. So instead of saying times, say E. Make sure it is uppercase E and not lowercase E. Then we say negative 34. Negative with the parentheses negative, not this negative on the side. After that, we say times 3 times 10 to the 8th. So we'll say times 3. Next comes the scientific notation, so uppercase E, 8. Now, close the parentheses to show that the numerator has ended, then a division sign. Now, begin the denominator with another parentheses, and we have 300 times 10 to the negative 9. So we'll enter 300. Instead of saying times 10 to the negative 9, say uppercase E, no need to say 10 or put an exponent, we just say negative 9. Close the parentheses and press enter. And we get the answer 6.63 times 10 to the negative 19. It's okay to write capital E negative 19 on paper or on WebAssign because your instructor will know what to do with it. Thank you all for watching. If you found this useful, feel free to leave us some feedback on the link listed below, and we'll see you again next video.